Hello and welcome to episode 12 of our Timberborn Update 5 playthrough with the Iron Teeth Faction here in Cycle 23, Day 19. Hey look, 2319 and a toxic symbol, that's a movie reference. Uh, 4.6 days left in the uh, bad tide here. Last episode we had uh, this area just about ready to go before the bad tide started, but didn't quite make it, so it's not as deep of a, uh, of a storage as it could be, but these guys... All five of these are pumping out of a maximum depth. Well, well, a well. Well, 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 well. Say that five times fast. But anyway, these guys are working great. We're going to continue expanding over here in today's episode. And also over here in the as of yet unnamed District 2, there will be a poll for that coming sometime soon. Uh, got a couple more things I want to do before we officially kick that off. But... Uh, we're going to try and get this all finished up. It sh they should be able to get this pretty quickly. And then once that's done, we'll be able to put in a bunch more of these water wheels, uh, reorganize a little bit of our industrial process over here, and finally start shifting some of the production away from this really kind of haphazardly constructed disaster <laughs> up here. And especially now that the levees block water irrigation and bad water, irrigation slash poisoning, whatever you want to call it. There really isn't that much of a reason for us to focus on having a bunch of stuff built on top of this. In fact, um, I'd venture to say we probably don't really need to have anything up here short of farming and maybe a little bit of food processing, which is kind of exciting because that means we can go ahead and start making an exodus into other parts of the map which we have wanted to do for a really long time, and there's plenty for us to get to as well. All these areas over here, I did say a long time ago that I was going to have uh, this all dammed off so we had maximum water flow coming around here and through our water wheels. So we've got a lot of cool stuff we can get into uh, before we're done with this series. We've got a lot still left to do, so we'll go ahead and dive right on in. But outside of those things that I mentioned uh, part of the whole reorganization of this area is going to be finally building a big storage tower where we can have all this stuff easily at hand. It's going to involve a little bit of blasting, which, you know, is always fun. And uh, kind of just, like I said, reorganizing some of this. Probably just going to go ahead and take these large water wheels out of this channel and just platform over the whole thing and just not worry about it because these are going to be making so much power at all times. We're not, excuse me, making so much power at all times. We're really not going to have to worry about it. And we can just save a whole bunch of space up here by not doing that. We can have a bunch of food processing and get things laid out in a much better way. So, of course, uh, like I said in a couple episodes prior, and many of you have discussed in the comments, uh, this district center for District 2 is going to be moved across the river here to encompass all of the bad water processing. Uh, we'll get into the uh, centrifuges, deep mechanical uh, pumps. We're not, probably not going to use those. But we do already have three. We're probably going to need more, especially since extract is going to be useful for a bunch of other stuff later on. But one thing we haven't done at all is uh, gotten into the grease. We talked about it a little bit last time with the uh, overview of the update, but uh, these guys are going to be pretty important once we start getting into bots because uh, this is the boost for the Iron Teeth bots. The Folktales now have the punch cards things. But uh, yeah, we're going to need to have extract and, and canola oil, which means that we have to have a lot more canola getting grown and processed. So I think what's going to end up happening here is we're just going to turn uh, a lot of this area into canola processing, probably move our soybeans. Because now we have so much more space, we can move a bunch of stuff around and have it laid out in a way that makes a lot more sense. So, like, you see how empty this is? We have 2,000 water, and these are just completely empty. So this really should be farm space. Got plenty of stuff to go in all sorts of different corners of the map. We can be a little bit more condensed with things, and we can take much much greater advantage of our land resources up here. So not going to get to everything on that list in today's video, but that's kind of the general idea of where we're going to be going over the next couple of episodes. And it all is kind of predicated on this thing being complete. So these guys are making about 1,200, a little bit more 
here in the bad tide and it should be about that much but once this is put in place look how fast this is going here once this is all completely done it's going to be absolutely just surging through here and that's pretty much the entirety of uh the bad tide stuff with the exception of all this over here and remember we're going to dam this up so we can contain the bad tide bad water etc and then actually irrigate over here if we wanted to something some of you guys have suggested uh, said you might want to see so plenty of opportunities but once all of this uh scrap metal is gone we're going to blast this down and extend this out this way and we could even have this connect right up to here probably would be uh, pretty easy actually just to have that go right the way across there. So exciting stuff. Lots and lots and lots to look forward to. But I am very excited to see this actually get complete. Because then we can uh, attempt to channel stuff. I don't know what we're going to need to fold water necessarily. Because this is already not that much water coming through here. So for right now, I think it's probably going to be a smart idea to just kind of extend this up this way a little bit and see how that ends up working but uh, all things considered stuff is working well we just need some more beavers and of course uh, that is going to require things to be a little bit more organized i think we'll be fine long run because now we do have nine of these advanced no children allowed breeding pods uh, we, we have not seen a child beaver in several cycles now many cycles probably I can't remember exactly when I put those in, but that was uh, quite a while ago. So, this area, like I said, is going to be pretty much all canola. Uh, the kohlrabis can move literally anywhere else. I might just kind of banish them to uh, over here. But we'll start by clearing out those medium tanks and these small ones right here. We just really did not need those. And we have plenty of other stuff we want to do. We are going to need the berries. Honestly, we're doing fine right now. So I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just, you know, leave these guys alone as they are. We'll check on our range. Yeah, they got, they got plenty of range here. No problems detected. So that only reaches down to there. This guy can grab all of this, but he can't grab up here. Eh. I, I would like to have a little bit more efficient labor usage, but I can't really complain that much about it. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, look look for this to jump a whole lot once this is all completed. But they're going to have to take their sweet time to do it because that's just how it works. So let's start preparing for uh, getting this all uh, situated here. I am going to be blasting this pretty much down uh, uniformly here so we can go ahead and start that process wherever we can should not be a super hard thing to do we've got plenty of dynamite plenty of bad water they should be able to take care of this pretty fast and they're actually almost done here too which is exciting I'm very interested to see how the uh, the mixing of good and bad water goes when the bad water is stationary and the good water is uh, not entirely flushing it out like right here. Of course, this is, this is going to get pumped out. Maybe, possibly, depending on how things are looking, it might end up getting pushed into a, uh, a reservoir or something. But man, I wish I would have had uh, these guys, the stream gauges, put in place because you can already see the contamination going down pretty substantially and we don't really have that much else coming in obviously this needs to be reset but go ahead and let that out there we go cool yep and because we don't have levees on this side it does end up irrigating look how cool this looks when it just blends like this it's a very nice kind of a a muted purple color yeah, contamination continues to go down, flowing through here, but all this right here is still bad. So that's uh, interesting. This is ready here. And now we can just kind of generally do all that. And yes, we are going to get rid of this uh, elevated pathway thing here. 
that at one point was following the original contour of the terrain, but this is all going to be completely level. Somewhere in here we'll put the district center and try to keep this district kind of its own thing. But these guys are going to need fresh water to be able to sustain themselves. Right now they're just importing it. Long term, that's not really a great idea. But since I, I was originally planning on, you know, uh, damming this up and having a bunch of levees and everything so we could have a big reservoir. But if we do that, it's going to make this land not arable, which technically doesn't matter. But I don't know. I like looking at green land. So maybe we won't do that. I'm not entirely, uh, not entirely sure what we're going to do to solve that. But these guys definitely need to have water they can, you know, actually use. So we should be, yeah, that one's going to be next. And then that one. Yeah, the power output is actually going down because the flow has been uh, so interrupted here. But the good news is we have a solution to that, and that is to just drag this all the way up there. Let them take care of that. We'll just put this path all the way up. I uh, did get a comment last episode asking, hey, why don't you put the paths on top of the, uh, the levees as you build them? Simple answer is most of the time I usually forget, but when I when I don't forget, it, it works pretty well. Probably should do that, but you know how this goes. I'm actually, it's so weird that the power output went down. You wouldn't think it would be like that. But now we're able to go ahead and detonate that as well as this. Man, that's satisfying. Love that. <laughs> yeah, I get these guys working there. Now, the fun part is going to be when I have to disconnect all of this and completely rebuild it. That's going to be devastating <laughs> to all of our food production. Fortunately, though, we have plenty here. Should be in A-OK -okay shape. So we'll come back and check on those guys in a little bit. And this here... Oh, you know what? We're still diverting this because I didn't fix it. So we'll... Uh, We'll we'll just um we'll just do that real quick. Yeah, the fun part now is these are flooded and kind of useless. So I I kinda wanna just uh completely get rid of them because this is only gonna be water storage. I don't have any other plans for this area right now. We just want to have a giant uh a giant pool to store water. And since we're playing normal mode, evaporation is literally not a concern because the droughts can only ever be nine days long. And it takes 22, 23, 24-ish, I think, in days for one full block height of water to evaporate. Not worried about it. Should be peachy, keen, uber fine, whatever you want to call it. I love this visual glitch here. It's just, it looks super ridiculous with the different... Uh, the different color water going through there. But good news is this is a pretty reliable source of water it's looking like, so that's nice. All right, this is going to get gone. I need to make that mode permanent. And this is a double height. Yep, there we go. Bring this along that way and uh, get out of here. I don't need that there. Get some more deep water pumps in. You just really prepare this for a whole bunch of pumping. All right, so we'll put our paths here. So now this is starting to look really good here. Of course, we'll have this follow along. Could actually conceivably just move this up one, but kind of don't want to. I think this will be fine. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight, symmetrical, whatever. But uh, I do think, uh, I do think long term, I do want to relocate this bridge one more. Uh, one more block to the right here so I can just have this directly connect to uh, all of this. And maybe uh, maybe make it a little bit shorter. The reason I didn't shorten it is because the four long bridge is the shortest one that has the metal. You can see the uh, the model right there. That Well, you can see the one we built is blue. It's got that blue bit. And the three by is just a, uh, just a couple planks. Which, you know, is fine, but... I think this looks really cool, and I, li I like using stuff that looks nice. So that's that's why that hasn't changed. But I, th th this is just 
that's not it. That that's not it, Chief. <laughs> it's not not looking great. But man, they still haven't finished this. Come on, man. Oh, it's deprioritized. That's literally why. I did that. Um. Yeah. Sometimes I make dumb choices. You know this. Yes, yeah, so we'll get that taken care of. Actually, this staircase can already leave. That can become something else. But like I said, this is going to get completely pushed down. And I either want to have this be a good water reservoir. Or just say, hey, I don't care what goes in here. And then just platform over the top of it. Make a giant industrial area. Not entirely sure yet. So if you have any thoughts on that, please uh, do communicate those in the comments. As we are not going to have this whole thing done today. I just wanted to uh, wanted to get something going here. Yeah, look how fast we're going here. That is, that's some speed right there, man. Now, how fast is it pushing these guys? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Up over 1,400. Love to see that. That's cool. And somebody else uh, suggested that maybe the reason that this is going back and forth so much is because you have multiple dams in sequence. And the flow coming out of here is not reliable because of the water pumps. And the water pumps are going to be going away. In fact, um, I just go ahead and get rid of those now because, you know, we have all this over here. Is this overtopping? No, that's just that weird visual glitch with the uh, the corner of the, the things. But that should be, uh, yeah, yeah, working good. So they got plenty to uh, occupy themselves with over there. Oh, are we done? All right, we sure are. So let's get rid of these guys. And this can get demolished so they can come pick it up. And you know what time it is. It's time for double dynamite absolutely everywhere over here. And blasting this whole little area. I don't know what I was trying to say. Whole little area to smithereens. What a funny word, smithereens. Very, uh, very Looney Tunes. I just have the, uh, image in my mind of Daffy Duck. You know, the episode, uh, where he rigs the piano to explode when Bugs Bunny plays it. But Bugs just, like, deliberately plays the wrong note, and so then he gets mad, and then he, uh, he goes over there and just pounds the key and just goes, Poof. I don't know why that's the one that, uh, that came to mind, but that's some good old quality entertainment right there. Well, most of it. <laughs> the stuff that hasn't later been uh, revealed to be a little bit problematic, but yeah, it's fine. So these guys are not going to get to this until they finish um, all of this stuff. But look how fast we're going, man. <laughs> look, at, look at this. That's some speed right there. And these guys aren't really uh, aren't really keeping up. I don't I don't know what the deal is. You would think we'd be getting uh, a ton of speed here. Maybe it's one of those things that I have to uh, have to raise this side up so it can fold properly. Yeah, because this is completely level. So I I might actually need to come in here and uh, I know I know more levee building, but I mean it's not like we're gonna run out of wood. We have we have enough. We're doing okay. So maybe at some point in the future we'll have to figure that out. I think the... Uh, why is this... Oh, it's coming off of here and then getting sucked right back in. Well, let's see. Yeah, those are all just, just south of 1,200. So, you know, it definitely could be worse. But I was expecting that to get a pretty substantial bump. It is just... Always satisfying to light off dynamite in this game, man. So much fun. All right. Any progress over here? Not really. That's uh, fine, I suppose. Um, Actually, we're full on canola oil right now. I guess these guys kind of caught up. But we definitely want this to become kind of a uh, industrial oil generation station. So we'll see exactly what ends up happening here. I'm not entirely married to the idea of having uh, production on top of this. I, we, we just put it here because that's where we were. 
But I think, um, I think this is probably mostly fine as it is. We did lose a little bit of uh, arable land to building on stilts here. But, I mean, we can rip all this out and have it pretty much rebuilt in less than a cycle if we have all the materials, which I think, as of now, we probably should. Just want to make sure we're taking full advantage of all of our space. But uh, the kohlrabis don't seem to be uh, a super big priority for the beavers to eat. So probably the thing that's going to make the most sense for right now is to just get rid of the kohlrabis, just stop planting them, and make this entirely canola. Because that we all there's already some that hasn't been harvested, but when we actually start chewing through this, you know, chewing through canola just does not sound like appetizing. But when we actually start chewing through this, we're going to go through it. Because these guys, grease factories, each each time this thing runs, every two hours is going to consume one unit of canola oil and one unit of extract. And if you have a lot of bots, you know, you're gonna you're gonna need couple of these to keep up with that. Plus, you know, you use the canola oil to actually ferment a whole bunch of stuff and fry it and all their food factories and everything. It's a very, very, very useful crop in the game. So we'll just kind of piece that back together. And then uh, we might as well... Uh, okay, well, this, this whole thing, this trench is kind of been rendered a completely moot point after the, uh, the change to the water physics but uh, I'm not inclined to fill it in with levees because that would look ugly. We might fill it in with dirt later, but there's not really any real reason to worry about this. I'm going to go ahead and plant some, not canola, some additional soybeans over here because, well, one, you can never have too many of these things, even though we have a full storage. Uh, having it in place, ready to go at a moment's notice, is a very, very good idea. So these two farms can reach all of that. Um, do we want to add a third? I don't know that we need to. But I want to say the amount of farms we have right now is pretty adequate. Might want to put a third one right here just so we can reach all of this stuff. Or we could, uh, we could stick somebody else over here. Haven't really fully decided yet. It's probably going to be one of those things that just ends up happening and whatever works, works. But increasing canola capacity is a very good idea. Increasing soybean capacity is a very good idea, especially because those take so long to grow. Everything else over here. Algae rations, that's supply on algae is fine. Um, supply on eggplants, excuse me, is also fine. Corn is also fine. So... At this moment in time, we don't really need to have more of this growing. We just need to make sure it doesn't die, which is what happened before we put the fluid dump in here because, well, we had no idea that we were going to change the water physics in the middle of an update, but, you know, it is what it is. A lot of you seem to be very displeased with that, I guess, would be the uh, polite way <laughs> a polite way to say some of those responses. But, I don't know, I think I'm kind of mixed on it. Obviously, we figured out how to negate any of the uh, the bad effects of that change, but it's really going to make early game Iron Teeth extremely difficult because, uh, you know, th the strategy that everybody's been saying for ever and ever and ever, well, at least in the scheme of playing this game, is that you want to put as early as you can, you want to just have a little square levees with the water dump on top and stairs going up into it. But now... If the levees block irrigation, you can't do that anymore. So you're limited only to what you can grow on land that is irrigated naturally. Which, if you get a bad tide in cycle two, well, bye-bye. <laughs> it's, it's over for you. You don't have any chance to uh, control the water. Because you can't divert anything. You, you can't store too much water in the first cycle. You, it's, the resources just aren't there. So... Um, Hard mode's going to be fun. <laughs> I think that's going to be the next series we do. But don't worry, we still have plenty to get done in this one. So no need to be uh, anxious about that. All right, progress here is continuing. That's looking fine. 
they haven't even yeah of course they haven't even started this yet they haven't gotten the chance to they've been building so much other stuff but now this is complete so they finished that and the water is going really fast here if we take a look at here yep so that's folding correctly we have three faces for the uh the water to go through so actually we probably pretty much just did all of our folding we have to do in this one spot this might be a bit too long to really be one um one drop down we might have to mess with it but let's check and see what our speed is now yeah okay i think we're gonna need to uh i think we're gonna need to fold it again here at this corner which is a little bit unfortunate because that's gonna be kind of a pain <laughs> to take care of it might yeah we're gonna have to um gonna have to raise this whole side up anyway but now that this is no longer a thing oh good just a regular drought no bad tide now that this is no longer uh, a thing that needs to happen we can actually come in uh, and put a bunch more water wheels in even if they're only making only only 1200 a piece ish that's still a considerable amount of power and if we just had this whole thing lined up and they're all making that then we're gonna be good to go for a long time so that's blasted out um this probably needs to move but the problem is the way i have this set up i think i only have little tiny storages outside of these two yep uh there's a big plank one but for metal blocks we pretty much pretty much just have this guy right here well and these two but very um shall we say insufficient storage for all of that all right and this is looking okay water storage hasn't jumped up as high and as fast as i thought it would but you know grand scheme of things it's probably fine water coffee oh i've got some more canola to plant let's do that i thought i did this already but i guess i didn't i kind of want to leave this one empty to put another farm in but i kind of don't think i'm gonna need it well i can always get rid of it if i have to just get that planted so it has some sort of growth happening uh now we're not growing any kohlrabis but guess what they're not eating them either so i i kind of just don't want to mess with those obviously we're still going to have some kohlrabi but i just i don't think it's that important so right here that would be probably not a bad spot to put a farmhouse except we you know we're not growing anything down here so maybe it needs to be a little closer oh this actually isn't a bad spot right here then we have room for uh <laughs> some more of these things on the side but i'm going to uh just just plant right here a nice little field of kohlrabi so we have a little bit of insurance there and we can expand our eggplant production even though we don't need to we can if we want to uh have it jump across here berries are looking fine everything is looking pretty good we still have tons of beds left over uh as far as our fun well-being is concerned we could be doing a lot better but we're also still running 18 hour days which you know we probably should reduce to 16 but hey they're taking advantage of the exercise programs and stuff right so uh we, we just have to get the rest of this stuff unlocked and uh monuments and stuff but we do already have labor in the flame of unity all taken care of in the same spot it's just tribute to ingenuity is going to take a little while to build um oh i totally forgot there's clocks now 600 science really for a clock eh, all right now we haven't messed with lanterns either and those can't go over the uh, the paths like our uh, our uh, lantern and Tory gate mod over in update four but these do look really cool and I want to find a good place to stick them because I think that's a, a very uh, very fun thing we could just build you know a platform on top of the path and just stick them there but that doesn't really look the best it's just kind of one of those things it's like all right well i guess you did that but that's fine we need to go ahead and uh make sure this is all set 
seems to be good to go. This is already all the way up. I'm not going to have to worry about that. Uh, this. There's a lot. There's a lot of water here. In fact, oh man, if we had built this one block higher, we would have been in uh, really good shape for irrigating a lot of land over here. No, that's fine. Now these are all running. So we have nine, nine uh, water pumps. Previously, we had uh, these four up here that are now gone. Going to collect that. This could be a good place to put uh, swimming pools. Oh, I'm not going to be able to fit four, four of these, two of these. That's a shame. Because we don't have the Litos anymore, obviously, because that's a Folktales exclusive now. But man, I kind of wanted to... Uh, all right, drought started. Let's let's just raise that all the way up. That we're good. It's only eight days. Again, it can't cannot be more than nine days here in uh, normal difficulty. So I guess that's okay. But let's go ahead and uh, make some moves on this, shall we? Uh, get the rest of this kind of kind of situated. We are generating still not quite enough power, but a pretty. Uh, Pretty sizable amount for these three power wheels here. I just got to figure out why it's so much slower than it used to be. It has to be because of the amount of water going through here and not going through here. Oh, yeah. Oh, why is that so... Why is that so low? It's gotta, gotta be because we don't have the height. Okay, well, it is a period of lower flow. So what if... What if we just extended this down here a little bit? By a little bit, I mean all the way to the corner here. Just did something like that. That would give us, uh, yeah, still the three faces to turn around. Uh, the only problem is that could end up kind of, um, kind of overflowing over here. I don't know. That might be uh, might be something we kind of don't want to mess with too much. So I will deprioritize this. Well, at least some of this because they're going to try and uh, they're going to try and do what they're going to try and do. But we need to make sure that this is all taken care of first. I don't dare use bulk delete on this because I might accidentally bulk delete the wrong stuff. So slow and steady wins the race. Usually pretty good life advice to go by. Not universally. But in this case, I think it's fine. So now the fun part is going to be... Okay, I guess I guess we'll just put our uh, stairs up here. Then I just have to have this go all the way through the corner. Because remember, we have our outside wall that's going to be... You know, I just told these guys not to... Alright, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, just delete the path, not the levees that you spent all this time over multiple episodes having them build. There we go. There we go. So this will go all the way down here. It didn't reach all the way. Come on, man. So that should be uh, should be enough to get to there. And now that's actually the same level. So that's, uh, well, that's good news. Take care of that. All right. And... I'm not going to put the path all the way because we don't need it to be all the way, but I am going to put it where they can, you know, actually walk up here. And I don't want any silly billies getting caught here. We absolutely cannot tolerate that. So, to that end... Mm -mm. Yeah, you know, just eh, casually get rid of this. Also because we have to get rid of it so we can build the, uh, <laughs> all the extra water wheels and stuff. So, that's... A-okay. And all that fuss about why I went under the tunnel here and the uh, the power power shafts and everything. Spoiler alert, just doesn't matter. It's fine. No need to no need to worry about it. So if these guys in a drought are currently making Oh, that's even less. 300, 400 something, man. Could also be because we're kind of, you know, interrupting the flow. So that's fine. But look, we got tons of food, tons of water. Stuff's looking good. And oh, yeah, look at this. 
we're going to be in explodey territory sometime soon to take care of all that wood storage. We actually need a lot more wood storage, which is why I was wanting to build this giant storage tower over here. And kind of the idea that I had for this was to uh, build into the hillside, but the way this is currently set up, it's probably not going to be that, uh, that easy of a thing. Unless I were to uh, detonate this down so we could come out this way but we're gonna end up redoing all this anyway so what if since i blasted this all the way down what if we just you know it might not look the best but we just put in a whole bunch of these guys could do something like uh i'll just pause the game so they can't build this but that is four blocks deep this is three blocks from here uh this is not going to be perfect amount of height for us to get exactly where we need to go, but this could just go straight out like this. We have a thing in the middle, or we could just say, you know what? We don't need to worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. Just kind of stack this whole thing here. One face, kind of boring, but an efficient and effective design nonetheless. So if we just did that, figure out an interesting way to wrap our stairway here, or we just say, you know what? It only needs to function. It doesn't have to look super cool or anything. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's enough. It doesn't always have to be some sort of crazy world beating type of design. Sometimes you just want something that's functional and doesn't look like complete garbage. But I, I don't want them to start building this. So I guess I do need to keep it paused. Also, it's not a bad thing to slow down every once in a while. I, I did get called out <laughs> on, a, uh, on a couple of comments about always being in triple speed the whole time and forgetting things as a result. So probably a good idea to take it a little slower and see what happens. Because I'm just, I'm so used to building with the ladders that I forget how to make actual good staircases. And it's not always, not always an easy thing. Because you have, you have to be able to connect multiple areas to the same, I guess, kind of trunk line of stuff. So if we just take a second to think about this, we have this path just kind of going all the way across here, I think is what we're, what we're going to be doing. We either need to make a central staircase to branch off from, or we have to be prepared to have this weird, crazy scaffolding thing in place. But... Then again, there's also no real reason why we would have to build in this spot. I just stuck it here because it was an empty hole. And, you know, that's how that works. But if we got rid of this, we could actually push this out a lot further. Uh, we could blast this hillside out. There's a bunch of different options. But for right now, I think it just makes sense to have simple storage where we can have a bunch of parts and be just fine. And now we do have... I guess a slight problem with the way the uh, the way the land is set up here, but it's not really that big of a deal. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how to make this work because this can't connect on this side. Has this always been that steep? That just looks way steeper. I know it's uh, I know it's just basically diagonal straight up, but that just looks so much steeper than it. Than it used to be. I don't really know what that's about. We kind of need to make um, some sort of a turnaround for the stairs here. I'm just I'm trying to rack my brain to figure this out. I guess it's really not uh, really not that great of a design to begin with. I don't know I had something going. I think with the uh, the thing I did maybe three or four episodes ago, showing you guys the uh, different spiral tower designs. It's just, it's so hard to build in a specifically confined space without it just looking like absolute garbage. Unless you have things that allow you to, you know, be a little bit more creative with placement of stuff. So for right now, let's just kind of forget that and let them, uh, let them keep going here. Because what we're doing now is we don't have a lot of bad water, actually. Uh, these guys cannot import it fast enough. We just have the four here. Do we have extra beers? Oh, we do. You know what that means. Fill up the district crossing. Let's go. Meanwhile, speaking of filling things up, um, explosives. 
Well, that's because of the bad water. That's where all that bad water is going, because we have this going on. And District 2 does not have enough bodies to take care of everything. Which is uh, unfortunate, but look at all the food. Look at all the food we got here, man. Sheesh. Are all four of these bad water pumps operating? No, they aren't. Okay. Um, instantly can take that down. So these guys can get to work there. That should help us just a tiny bit with that. I am just kind of flabbergasted that they... Uh, they slowed down after having more water routed through them, but maybe it is a thing of it's it's just too much length, and then you don't have to don't have to worry about it. Well, we'll we'll get it figured out. I just I'm kind of stuck on this storage thing here. I want it to be cool. I really want it to look cool, but sometimes sometimes I'm just not good at plotting stuff out. Because we do have we have the space in the center, so if if we had space on all four sides, it would be pretty much a no-brainer. Just have path here, and then you go up one level. Those two face each other, or this, that, or the other. So I think the easiest thing to do, honestly, is just going to be to uh, do one of these numbers and just you know not worry about it. Just let it be as it is. Because we can always, you know, build stuff on top of this. But another thing we can do is we can just, you know, blast this to smithereens, do the same thing on the bottom. And then on top of that, we could even put some other stuff in. But I want the staircase network to not be a complete and total disaster. Because it's going to be very, very easy to have something that looks terrible and does not function. So... We'll get that figured out. If you turn these guys back around to the front, you could just have a second um, a set of platforms up here that would do the same kind of thing as this. They would just have to have a, a second entrance here, which uh, we could do if we blasted this down another couple of levels. Actually, I kind of like that. It's, again, not going to be a super world-beating, incredibly beautiful high quality design thing but hey it's uh i mean it works <laughs> it is uh functional if nothing else but this here except the problem is this is our only uh our only route to go down there but that uh, you know that's a pretty simple design and simple is usually uh, usually pretty good. We can also come down the uh, top side from here. So let's... Um... Oh, no, that's too tall. In fact, I can just make this a triple. No, not there. Go away. Just make that a triple, and hey, there you go. So that actually helps us solve uh, two problems at once. That means... Oh, you know what? Yeah, we can just uh, get rid of this entirely and have this connect somewhere else that's actually kind of smart i surprised myself <laughs> and that's why you don't get bogged down about weird stuff you're like all right well might be kind of dumb but maybe it'll work and hey sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't and you actually do end up looking like the idiot but hopefully that's not something that happens uh, more often than the other outcome but i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the rest of these double dynamites in places i really want to get this taken care of so we can start heading up this way. I like the idea of being able to connect uh, these two across here. Just make a, a little bit more of a loop. I don't think this needs to be its own district, at least not yet. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Look how much water we've pumped out. Yeah, this was... Wow, this was full at the beginning of the drought, so we're actually... Uh, we're moving some pretty serious amounts of water here. We're going to have to deepen this at some point, but uh, we're going to need a lot more bad water to do that, which is why I've been attempting to uh, get this all figured out, because I don't have extra beavers, not yet. This district only has 10, uh, but we don't have extra jobs, so it's not the worst thing ever. It is technically functioning pretty well. Can't really, uh, can't really complain. So this whole time, the beavers have been kind of uh, working on getting this put in place. 
I really don't want it to overflow when the rest of the water comes back. So I probably should have them do this first. Uh, oh no, they're placing all these all these dynamite first. Well, we'll uh, we'll explode part of this. Let's see what happens. I don't think they're going to get to uh, this a little bit. So let's just so this can get done. Let's prioritize these, and then I will do uh, I'll do this little strip so we can actually go past it. And then we'll leave this alone for a little while just to get uh, this passable. Because once that's done, they can come in here and they can finish all of this stuff. Just make that uh, done. Because the water's coming in here. I really, really should have done this sooner. But, you know, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Because here comes the uh, end of the drought. No need to worry about anything there. This district over here is already uh, already set, pretty much. Put this down to 2.5, and we're good to go here. Just as soon as that water comes in here, cycle 25. Look at us go. Making some progress here. And we have 3,600 water storage. Not quite full, but uh, you know, pretty decently close. Why are they not connecting this, collecting all this? Oh, it's just logs. They don't have any reason to, huh? Oh, they're eating kohlrabis. Okay, so we actually have lost a few. So maybe we do want to keep uh, keep planting somewhere. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's let's do that. That's fine. Yeah, so maybe they'll come over here and do this next. Oh, they still haven't even finished this stuff. All right, that's fine. They'll they'll get to it. This is um, probably going to have to be. Super prioritized just to get that done. But I, I do want to have extension of the water the water bits here. Oh, I can't uh, I can't reach that because we're in Oh, uh, and I can't send a beaver down there. So that's gonna have to be I think I can uh should be able to build if I do that and that they should be able to get to all six of those tiles over there. So maybe that'll let them, maybe it won't. We'll find out. Yeah, only making only making about 500, 600. It, it is kind of going up, kind of going down. Well, it's fine. All right, lag. Where's, there we go. Yeah, I don't know why they, they just won't do these. Okay, now, now they're doing it because I had to say something about it. So that's fine. I just really want them to be done with that, so I can just just completely get rid of it. Oh, I probably should have done this side first. But, oh, that that is where the the path comes in. So we'll leave that alone. This is refilling nicely. Yep, looking good. Are we uh, are we going to come over here to do anything? Are we still playing with explosives over here in Tree Land? Looks like there's only two left, so. That's good progress. Those guys will be just about finished here. Yeah, finish that thing. Finish this one. No, no, no. Bring the explosives. No, it's almost it's almost bedtime. Are you are you gonna finish it or are you just gonna drop your materials off and go home? Yep, that's what I thought. Alright. That's fine. Just don't do two seconds of work before the end of the day, so we have to wait an overnight to actually set this stuff off. Well, I guess we don't have to wait to set it off, because it is all contiguous. Eh, I'm not worried about it. All right, we have stairs. So that works. Now they just got to build all this, and that's probably not going to be a cheap process. We don't have storage for gears and metal blocks. I almost said metal gear. That's a completely different thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we don't have storage for those two, apparently, which will uh, we'll get all fixed up. Uh, the flooded buildings is because of all this. Now, I did say I was going to try and get into building some of the other uh, industrial stuff, but we just have not have not made a terrible ton of progress on this yet, which is unfortunate. I think these guys can actually build from below, or build from below, build from above. So if I put this here, 
I can just kind of line this whole thing. Now, we're not going to have enough uh, resources here to do this. Oh, did this line up perfectly? Look at look at this. Look at this. That's going to be ridiculous is what it is. But that also kind of does give us the... Uh, <laughs> It was the problem of how we're going to connect all these, right? Because we're going to have to have this thing entirely covered. So now, now it makes me think, do I unlock, do I unlock terraforming? Even though we uh, probably don't need to worry about it. Because this will eventually dry up from the bad water. Not that it really matters, but we could put platforms here and really everything would be perfectly fine. We just have this completely lined with different things to manufacture little bits and bobs but it, it would take them a very very long time to build it for sure speaking of uh how are we looking on builders we just have the four plus two all right and I, I know we mentioned it last time but we we definitely do need some more beavers to build stuff i just don't have any extra bodies currently we, we have plenty of extra space just don't have all the uh all the beavers necessary. Oh, well, the hauling post is deprioritized as a job, so, you know, if we built another mm, couple of uh, builder's huts, we'd probably be in good shape. So I will stick one here. I'll stick one here, because it doesn't really matter. Make that a priority. There we go. That'll give us eight more. Maybe that'll go a little bit faster here starting to get close to run out of time on today's one but i did say i was going to try and move the district over which eh, you know mm, i really i really shouldn't until it's ready so I'm, I'm not trying to bait people into watching these i just legitimately don't know how much i'm going to be able to get done but we did kind of start with the whole storage area thing we just didn't have enough beavers to build it now, what can I deprioritize? Or should I even deprioritize? I don't think I should. I think everything else is looking pretty okay. But we got to set this off. We haven't done that yet. Beautiful. Absolute perfection. Love to see it. So we can... Um, I'm actually going to deprioritize all of these because we have this whole thing that really, really should be done. How fast are we going now? Okay, 12, 1250. Not the worst. Oh, but you have, you have uh, 2,500 extra power. I know, but we won't. Eventually, we're going to use all of it. And we're going to be really, really wishing that we had more power at some point. I guarantee you, it always happens. Right now, it seems kind of unfathomable that we'd spend so many resources building something like this and still complain about oh we don't have enough uh don't have enough power well that's how she goes it is nice to get this kind of done obviously we still have a little bit of work left to do but it is uh in fact working pretty well uh this we probably should go ahead so we, we still don't have the extra beavers though, which is the whole problem. And I, I kind of want to, uh, I kind of want to just, you know, go completely stupid and do this. You know, just put another five when you already have nine. And these are, by the way, small tanks. They're not, they're not, I almost said breathing pod, breeding pods. So why not? Let's add another, what, 55% capacity capacity to the the beaver birthing stuff I mean, we can use the bodies i'm not saying we can't but that's uh something interesting to think about all right and we have these done already fully staffed so where are they taking the workers from if this is uh lower prioritized i must have a bunch of stuff that's super low prioritized yep yep it's the inventor's well, not all the inventors. Probably should be. Lumberjack flag should probably not be one of those. I guess... Uh, I guess we're doing okay then. So this actually looks pretty decent. Um, 
Too far from a district, I know. We'll get there. There's just so much to build. That's why I kept building additional ones. But all that to say, uh, I wanted to expand the population here so we could pump some more bad water out. But I didn't have enough beavers to steal from, so we're not going to worry about that just quite yet. Got to wait for this other triple dynamite to get put down before we can really do too much with that. But that should be a pretty quick thing. You know, considering we have the warehouse of explosives right here and we have extract so they can, you know, actually put this in. But we'll get this, uh, we'll get this knocked down. And then we'll kind of uh, clone this thing. Because that actually works out very nicely to have everything connected, well, except the bottom ones, which kind of aren't connected. But, see, I just I would just wish there was a slightly better way for me to do this. Very, very slightly. I don't know, maybe... Oh, would that be dumb to just have this not connect to the side here and just have this go up go up plateau and then go up again and then just follow that I, I do need to make sure that the rest of this is connected though but this little bit right here could be a good um good spot to kind of pilot that idea so if that's going to be the case and i have this be a set of stairs going up here then that means this one needs to be detonated down three times right here and then this one, well, also needs to be detonated down three times. But then this one, not the rubble. I would like to save 60 planks, thank you. This would need to be detonated down two, and this would need to be detonated down one, which I cannot do because it, <laughs> it has a power shaft on it. But, like I said, we are going to be moving stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is stick this here. Um... You know what? Let's just let's just do it. No reason not to, right? Just uh, stick that high power shaft in place here. Because I know they can go through the front. I just didn't do it when we got to that point. However many episodes ago that was. But I need to decide what's going to get stored here. So I think uh, this these are four high. I kind of want to... Uh, kind of want to just have the same items in each stack on different floors rotated so you have easy access to everything. And yes, I know there are six different things, but we're not currently doing anything with the dirt. And I don't think we need to be storing scrap metal over here because none of this has anything to do with scrap metal. So each floor of these is going to have log, plank, treated plank, and finished metal blocks pretty good start so I will do uh, I guess probably in that order metal block there this will be treated plank and then we'll just uh, copy it to the upper floors but we got to make sure we can you know actually get the rest of this done so let's fix that real quick I promise promise we're uh, wrapping this up soon I just want to make sure that we get a a little bit more stuff done because there's so much that I would really love for us to be able to do. You just, you know, you can't always do everything. But you can try to uh, accomplish something. I kind of want to wait and see if we're going to get a bad tide yet or not and then end on that cliffhanger. But we've got to got to make sure we get the rest of this done first. So I'm going to actually prioritize all of this because this just really isn't that important. Plus, uh, our second district can can build all this. I just want to make sure this is ready for... Uh... Wow, they're actually almost done. Okay. Cool. Uh, I know they still have to do this, but... I think it's more important to have the storage in place first. They can't get to the middle there, so we'll just blast that out. I'll wait for all those to be done before I mess with that, I guess. But I think... I think if I have this set up correctly, this is going to actually maybe look pretty pretty interesting without being a complete monstrosity of an eyesore. Always love the idea of stuff that is functional and looks at least interesting. All right, friends. Come on down. Let's get this done. Send these people home with something interesting to uh, think about for tomorrow's episode.
All right. And of course, you know the drill. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, that's going to be so perfect. Well, for this specific area, at least. All right. So now the fun part we can do. I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> I forgot the... Okay, all right. Disregard. <laughs> oh, man, that's annoying. I hate it when that happens. So, good news is, it's uh, pretty fixable. We just have to uh, swallow our pride a little bit. And, uh... Yep, I have to put that one in. Swallow our pride a little bit and... Uh, not be afraid to, uh, you know, just start over. So we'll get that get that done. I can build half of it, though. Can have that go here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that go right there. So that's going to fit there. This has to go here, which means that has to go there, which means that has to go there, that has to go there, and this triple has to go here. So I guess I really don't... Yeah, no, okay, I do. Yeah, this is... That's going to be fine. Let's do that here, 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 and here. Have that come across like that. You don't need the staircase in the middle. Well, you kind of do because you have this facing the other way, but let's not get uh, too hung up on technicalities here. All right, so that's in place there. That's in place there. Look at us go, man. Look at us go. That, that right there, that is some quality engineering. So now I can put the staircases back in place, connect everything up with this, extend our, uh, our doohickeys this way. There we go. That, I think, is actually pretty neat. Is it beautiful? Nope. Do I care? Also, no. But this is done. We're just waiting to put in the uh, the little bits here. Why did they build this one first? Well, whatever. It's here. We got this. We got this. They might they might actually get this done in the next couple minutes while we're still waiting for our uh, our cycle alert here. So we're you know what you know what I think we can consider this a win. Uh, we still have quite a bit to do, but this is a pretty good bit of advancement for today. Did we, uh, did we place anything else here? Nope. Okay. All right. Hard to get upset about that. All right. So I said this one was going to be metal blocks. That's treated planks. This is just going to be regular planks. This one on the bottom is going to be logs. And we'll just do the same thing over again. Da, 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 da. There's not really any rhyme or reason as to why anything is in any specific place. I just kind of felt like that would be cool. Um, that's already... Yep, there we go. Just do the same thing. I could, I guess I could have rotated these, but I also like the idea of the uh, vertical consistency. I guess we could say. So that's going to be that. Oh, it's another drought. Oh, well. We'll get another bad tide soon. All right, so that's all set up. We just have to get everything else hooked up correctly. And then once that's done, um, I guess, yeah, I'll just, I'll just connect this. So that's good to go. Cause then what we can do, well, since that kind of is connected now, we can finally say goodbye to this. I probably should have uh, blasted this down first. Think first to blow up later. Well, were I to actually follow my own advice, probably would be a smart idea, but we can uh, just go ahead and get this rocking and rolling here. Um, was that set to be down another another one? I think it was. I think it was supposed to be one more. No, there's a path under here, isn't there? There it is. Alright, so that's done. 
And in come the stairs. They'll let us do what we need to do here. Uh, that can be... Well, I guess I should probably just have this be uh, two blocks high. Or two blocks down. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, uh, I think that's probably a pretty good place to uh, stop for today. I know they've got... They got all that to do, plenty of uh, other stuff. But hey, we've got a little bit more storage here, and while this isn't the most beautiful solution ever, it does fit in the environment. It is uh, reasonably efficient, accessible. So I think we can be pretty happy with that. Yeah, look at look at this, man. Look at us, look at us go. We're getting stuff done. Love to see it. All right, rotate that, and then that one bit, and that will then be. Fully accessible, easy access down here. And we can put some more storage for liquids and other various things. With the uh, the medium storages, will fit just fine right there. But look at this! Look at this! They're actually making pretty good progress on building all these water wheels, and that would actually be a very cool, uh, a very cool thumbnail. So maybe we'll just kind of, you know, just chill out here and uh, get you out of here while we're waiting on them to finish, and uh, we'll say goodbye at the beginning of this drought. But yeah. Thanks so much for being here. Really, really appreciate you and all of the comments and suggestions and feedback that you guys give. I do read all of them. And yes, every comment, I do read them. I, I also read the ones where people say, uh, well, but you don't read every comment. Yep, you got me. I read every comment and I always make sure I reply to those just so uh, they understand that I read them. But I, I really do. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, be here because like I always say, it is a let's play. It is not a watch me play. So I really do appreciate you taking the time to... Uh, let me know what's on your mind uh, regarding the playthrough or really just anything in general. Always happy to chat. And I'm very thankful for you once again, as well as our beard boosters who make all of this possible with their fantastic support. So uh, thank you to those folks. You can see their names on the screen. Uh, more info in the description if you're interested, but never, ever, ever obligated to do anything like that. I'm just glad you're here and glad we get to spend a little bit of time together. So later today, actually probably pretty close to when you finish this video, if you watch it as soon as it releases, uh, we'll be doing a short live stream for Diorama back in Update 4. And then tomorrow we'll have another episode of this series as well as some more satisfactory sometime in the early afternoon. And then another episode of this series on Monday before we go back into our regular rotation of the uh, Folktales on Tuesday, Thursday, and then Water Beavers on Wednesday until we finish the uh, Folktales playthrough and then I don't know what's going to go in those slots. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. But again, that is all the time we got for today. We're just about into the drought here. So this is where we'll go ahead and say goodbye. Whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.